Hey, what's up everyone? This video is going to be about an occurrence that just happened to me today. It's regarding the invasion of privacy that we see happening today, particularly regarding Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and share the experience and then I'm going to do the rest of my talking afterwards regarding what I feel and all the other information as well. My mama had just walked in the room and asked me uh, if I wanted this daily vitamin. This uh, She had just handed me this... This um, My mama just asked me if I wanted this daily vitamin, this uh, gummy vitamin. And uh, I was like, I said, sure. And immediately, I, I had my ink pad notepad open and was writing this, at that moment I was writing this particular, writing down this dream that I had had the night before, and I was typing it in to document the dream. And as she asked me if I wanted this vitamin, Amazon popped up an advertisement. You know how at the top of the screen, when you're, if, you're, if you use the Inkpad Notepad app and you're typing on it, they'll pop up an ad, a small advertisement that they think is relevant to you, possibly relevant to you. And what they popped up there as she handed me the vitamin was this. And I opened the ad and took a screenshot of the ad. Nature's Way. Alive. Once Daily Men's Multivitamin. Now, this is not exactly the vitamin that... This is not the vitamins that... Uh, what I had were these little... Uh, the little gummy vitamins. It was a SpongeBob gummy vitamin... And that's what she handed me. But the fact that she mentioned a vitamin and said, "Here, would you like would you like a gummy vitamin?" And I was like, "Sure, you know, maybe it'll help." Then Amazon immediately pops up an advertisement, an ad right there at the top of my Inkpad Notepad app for this multivitamin. So. I mean, I find that to be a total invasion of privacy. They seem to do they seem to do that quite often. They will immediately advertise something regarding something that I'm talking about, sometimes even thinking about, or anything regarding something that I recently have looked up or watched, whatever. Now, on to what I said I was going to talk about afterwards. When you agree to the terms and services of Amazon, you do have to agree that when you do the voice search, which is right there, that microphone that you see right here, when you do a voice search, they actually keep that particular voice recording and the background sounds, the background noises, you have to agree for them to keep that into your in your account under your name. They keep that in a server on hand for two years. The same goes for emails that you send back and forth to seller facilities and with Amazon. They do keep that on hand for two years for uh, law purposes and for um, legal reasons, so basically. And they'll, they'll keep that on hand for, uh, they also claim for documentation purposes, just in case. But, just in case it's needed for some reason. But I, I do know that they say that Amazon... You have to agree when you agree to the app and the use of the microphone on the app, which uh, is the microphone that I showed you right there in the, the top hand, I mean the right hand corner, uh, right next to the cart and right next to the search symbol, the magnifying glass for the search. You have to agree when you first get the app, if you want to use the microphone, that they do store your voice in your account, under servers, they store your voice and your voice searches to better recognize your voice. Like you can say, okay, Amazon, or you can say, uh, hey, Alexa, or something like that. And that it will search for something that you ask. Or you can say, where's my recent order, or where's my most recent orders, or things like that. To the microphone and it will do that and they say they have to keep your voice on hand and any background voices or sounds that take place on the on the uh, that particular few seconds that you speak they have to keep that on file 
in a documentation for a while, and they claim it's to better recognize your voice and to, to distinguish your particular voice when doing searches from background sounds and other individuals talking or sp speaking in the background. They claim it's for uh, better convenience purposes and voice recognition over time that they keep your voice on file in their servers and under your account. But also under Google, it used to be Google Dashboard, but now it's your it's basically your entire Google information and your searches and things that you didn't use, use private browser when you weren't using the private browser. They keep your voice searches and everything all in there, but that's different with it from from Amazon. But I just found it very weird that, I mean, very creepy, not necessarily weird. I'm used to that now. Sometimes all I have to do is think about something, and they seem to synchronize with that, and there it is. Which, speaking of which, they do have a mood control, a mind control uh, headband now from Amazon that you can wear that based off the electromagnetic frequencies and the impulses from the neurons in your brain, because uh, the motor neurons in your brain will send out these particular impulses that put out a particular frequency that lets it know what type of mood you're in, and it changes colors and music based on your particular mood at that moment. So that is a real thing that's happening now. They actually have a neurologically controlled headband, so I'll do a video on that as well. That's a little different than this, but I find it to be an invasion of privacy that they can pop up an ad when someone's handing you a multivitamin, they pop up an ad for vitamins right then on the app, which means they're all listening. The app's listening. Amazon linked with the app's listening. And yeah, that's an invasion of privacy, but I thought I'd share it. And I found that very strange. Well, not necessarily strange in this day and time, but I found that to be creepy that Amazon was listening. That means they're listening at all times. And we knew that already, and I knew that. But the microphone access is, it's um, quite invasive, quite invasive, really. And I was given a multivitamin. I was given a vitamin. I took the vitamin. Immediately, Amazon pops up an ad for vitamins. So I thought I would, I thought I would show that and share it with you all, share that personal experience and a few other experiences and just a few other of my thoughts in this video. So... This has been a video blog, or, or actually just a screen recording vlog about the invasion of privacy from Amazon and their recommendations. So, much love, stay safe, stay aware, and I send peace to you all. So, bye. That's all for this video. I hope to speak with you again very soon. As always, feel free to email me, message me, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and if you have, thank you so much for everything. It means a lot to me, and I always try to get back as soon as possible to all of you. Much love. Much love to you all. God bless, and I hope we speak again. I hope we speak again very soon. Bye.